Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech. We specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we're working on a multi-stack chiller and I'm gonna be replacing a chilled water gauge. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So here's the new water gauge and here's the old one. I already replaced one of them and I just want to show you how I got this done. This is pretty tricky. So when it comes to this, there's nowhere to spin this valve. So I actually had to cut it out and rebuild it. There's nothing you can do, you can't spin it. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. We're gonna begin by closing the water valve. Now that's done. We're gonna cut this out over here and pull out the threads. pull out the thread So I have a few fittings and nipples. See this right here won't spin on. So I'm gonna build an elbow and then design it in such a way where in the future, you could, if this goes bad, you could just spin it out and take it out and not have to go through this again. So I'm gonna go get my fittings ready, build it out. And I'm just gonna use Teflon tape. And if you want to, you could also use dope on top of the Teflon. I'm just gonna begin by prepping all of my fittings. All right, so I have all my fittings prepped. I'm gonna start with a close nipple. Spin it by hand and get an elbow on there. As you spin down on the elbow, the nipple will get tight as well. on and tighten this have gauges both are now done we are now reading pressure and now these are now serviceable for the future if anybody found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe 
and I'll catch you all next time.